welcome to my channel guys I will be making this salt mackerel you could buy it whole or you could buy it in this bag filet I couldn't find the whole ones so I'm gonna go ahead and cook the filet ones because it's coming out of a package I do not want to just stick it directly into the water that I'm gonna use to boil it what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rinse it off okay rinse it off real nicely and then add it to my water okay guys and I believe it comes with about six piece of fish so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them off get them on the stove and I'll come back and show you what else I do alright guys I just want to show you that I just got through boiling our mackerel okay so now what I'm gonna do is just add just a little bit of cool water just to kind of I mean it's not gonna cool it down all the way because if you touch the liquid if you touch the liquid it's still gonna be kind of hot because this is very very hot and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to handle our um, fish so now what I will do it is extremely hot guys but I do not like the skin it is hot I know you guys see this the smoke but I, my hands have a high heat tolerance I know it's not good but hey I mean you could leave the skin but I just prefer not to leave the skin off I mean to leave the skin on and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of the skins off then I'll come back and show you what I do next particular meal guys you have to put a little oil in it okay and to that I'm gonna also add some butter for the butter that I'm gonna add is a um, non-salted butter so there's no salt in this butter remember our mackerel is very salty I did boil the majority of the salt out just leaving just a little bit of salt in there all right guys to our butter and um, oil I'm gonna add my tomatoes my cloves my garlic onions bell peppers and also my green onions and I do have I don't know if you can see this some scotch bonnet I'm gonna go ahead and add that in now oh, the scotch bonnet automatically once it hit this it smells so good so I'm gonna just let these cook I'm gonna also add my thyme and then I'll hold on to my parsley so I'm gonna let this cook oh my goodness guys I wish you could smell this scotch bonnet oh my great God almighty it smells so good okay and I like a lot of onions and I don't mind if they're soft because with this particular dish that's what it is now we're gonna put in our mackerel and I like to break it up a little bit I don't like them too big so I'm gonna just break them up a little bit okay my, the mackerel itself I mean I can't tell you how long to cook it because everybody's stove is different but what I did was um, I cooked it you know for a little while and then I went ahead and took a piece and tasted it so 
once the, the salt level, you know, was good enough for me, then I went ahead and took it off the stove. So it's totally up to you. I mean, if you want it, but some people like stuff that is real salty. So if you like it salty, so you're just gonna have to taste it. But for me, I removed the majority of the salt, but it still has some salt in there. Guys, I wish you guys can smell this. Now to this, oh my goodness. To this guys, I'm gonna add some black pepper. Just a little bit. I'm going to garlic powder. And I'm also gonna add, I think that was onion. So this one is garlic. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of the seasoned salt, just a little bit. Guys, that was just a drop, not even. Wait to eat this. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm gonna let this cook. I'm not gonna add a lot of water. I'm just gonna add this is some hot water from my faucet. Just a drop of water. And I'm gonna turn my stove down. It's about a number four. And I'm gonna just let this kind of cook down just a little bit because we want the sauce to have a nice little flavor and we don't want it to evaporate too quick. Let me just add just a little bit more water. Like that. And then I'll come back. All right, guys. I hope you can see it. Let me turn my stove off. Everything is nice and cooked. And what I did, see how our sauce is looking nicely? I just kind of smash my tomato in there so I can get a nice little color going. Very nice, guys. All right, guys, please like, comment, and do not forget to subscribe.